command, I command you to leave this place, Satan. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Leon in a Bland Tan Room. I must apologize for the lack of aesthetic. I just moved uh, and I'm in a new office space that I'm gonna be working out of henceforward and I got a little work to do in here. Actually, you know what? Alrighty, we are in business. I gotta tell you, the past couple weeks I've been going through this move, it's been, it's been hellish, but uh, you guys have been nonstop sending me tweets, sending me emails because my boy, the legend Kenny Copeland is back in the headlines. And you crawl on your oh. belly. I mean, this guy is the gift that continues to give it. And uh, if you know anything about me, you know that I'm a big fan of Prosperity Preachers. I've done, uh, you know, probably three videos, I think, at this point about them in the past. Kenny was, was one of the subjects of my last one. An absolute treat all around. Love watching this dude. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. Now, you may think that these televangelists are scam artists, or you may think that they are your meal ticket to a seat next to the good Lord. But one thing you cannot argue is that these dudes are performance artists. And I gotta tell you, he is putting on a show right now. I demand judgment on you! So naturally, as the coronavirus continues to sweep the world in fear and anxiety or at an all-time high, Kenny has taken it upon himself to uh, cure people through his television set. That's one tweet uh, video that you guys have sent me a lot. And he is also um, executing judgment on coronavirus. And so, uh, <laughs> let's... Uh, Dip our pinkies in. Exercise judgment right now. Because we in have. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Standing in the office of the prophet of God. What? It's probably a pretty nice office. I execute judgment on you, COVID 19. Oh, much. I execute judgment on you, oh. Satan, you destroyer, you killer. Well, it looks like that's it. And just as I was running out of pairs of sweatpants, it looks like it's time to throw jeans back on because self-quarantine is officially over. Because Kenny Copeland just executed judgment not only on Copeland, but on Satan himself. You destroyer! You killer! You get out! You boy break go power! You what now? You boy... You would? Boy break... What was that? Boy, 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 boy go power! Would. No. Yeah, I give up. I don't get it. You get off this nation! Uh, I demand yeah. judgment on you! I demand! <laughs> I demand! Holy! I demand! Yeah, he a demands. Vaccination to come immediately! Yes! Immediately! Fuck clinical trials! It might kill everybody, who cares? Just get it released already! Jesus! I mean, just look at all these steps. <laughs> Boring. Boring, and then, and then after that you gotta do all this? I don't think so. If Kenny Copeland demands it, you release that shit right now. We must forego the normal bureaucracy around vaccinations because we are executing a judgment on Satan! And on COVID-19. <laughs> oh God, we're like 40 seconds in and I am having a blast. Oh, well look at that, the comments are turned off, that sucks. The real reality is I can't really, I'm not, even if I censor and do the redacted like meme, it's talking about this stuff will absolutely get this video demonetized, which is fine. I want to talk about it, make some jokes. Uh, but thankfully it's 2020, which is the year of my partnership uh, with Raycon. So before I sink my teeth deeper into this succulent peach, I'm just gonna gear up here. And uh, break you off with that new type of sponsorship. You guys know by now that Raycon E25s are my go-to choice for affordable wireless earbuds. They're sleek as fuck, they sound great, and they 10x my dance moves. Yeah, they're small and convenient, but guess what? The bass on these babies is dummy thick. So when I'm bopping the new weekend album trying to set up my new office, motivation stays higher than Snoop Dogg and a Learjet. The Bluetooth pairing is a dream, and you get a noise-isolating fit offered in multiple colorways. Also, the battery life is tremendous. In the case, charges them on the go. Don't believe me? <laughs> yeah! How about now? So if you're looking for an affordable pair of true wireless earbuds, do me a favor, stop looking, because you can get 15% off right now if you use my link in the description. That's buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush for 15% off your very own pair. I appreciate you. I demand, I demand a vaccination to come immediately. Yes. Yes.
You come down! <laughs> From your In place of authority, Destroyer, you come down and you crawl on your oh. belly like God commanded you when he put his foot on your head in the Garden of Eden. How is it that we have the Oscars for movies, the Emmys for television, the Tonys for Broadway musicals, and we do not have an award ceremony and an award for televangelists, for prosperity preachers, because this performance is fucking lit. Holy shit. He put his foot on your head. When he put his foot on your head. He sounds like the dude from Men in Black, the original Men in Black, where he's like, I'm looking for a cat. Blocks to a friend of mine, it's real precious. A pet cat it means worlds to me. Oh, I'd like to have it back. Kenneth Copeland is an alien wearing human skin. Confirmed. You were destroyed through COVID-19. No more! No more. No more. This guy, who is this cheerleader right here? Like, come on, dude. Just let the dude, let the dude put his show on. Like, televangelists even have hype men. You know what I'm saying? Like, rap concerts, televangelists. Not so different after all. It no more. Is finished. Finished. It is over. And the United States of America is healed and well. Thank you. Father. Again. Praise. Saith the mighty. Hallelujah. Spirit. Glory. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Just read the news this evening does not look like uh, this execution of judgment worked very well. Things are still spiraling out of control quite rapidly, in fact. <laughs> Finish! Finish! If we could only get the vaccine immediately, what's the goddamn holdup? Kenny Copeland demands! So what the fuck are we waiting for, son of a bitch? Continue. When mean, oppressive, nasty diseases attack his people, George, the Prince of Peace takes his place. And he becomes the mighty man of war. Okay, so he brings it back into the Prince of Peace becoming a Prince of War, uh, settles down a bit, and that uh, just tremendous. Comments off, obviously, unfortunately, I'm sure he was getting demolished. Uh, but fortunately, the tweet that went viral of the same video, um, you can't turn comments off on that. So let's, there we go. You don't see faith healers working in hospitals for the same reason you don't see psychics winning the lottery. <laughs> uh, yeah, accurate. I dare anyone to look at this guy and not see a demon. This is one of my favorite pictures of him. In fact, I accentuated this part in one of my previous videos. So much of the comment section was people like, man, this guy is a demon in human flesh. I used to watch this show when I was a kid and thought it was satire and fake like wrestling. It is satire and fake like wrestling. <laughs> you know what? I tend to agree. I'm just not sure Kenny Copeland knows it. Anyway, there was another video that you guys tweeted me a ton. Uh, this dude, Right Wing Watch, reposted it because the YouTube video that Kenneth Copeland posted actually got deleted for terms of service because uh, apparently he was healing people of the virus through his television. I... Put your hand on that television set. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. He received, he received your healing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now. My mouth. I feel it. Say in my it, soul. I take it. I take it. I have it. Oh, I have it. It's, it's mine. It's, it's in mine. my rib cage. I feel it. I thank you and praise mm, you. For it's perforating. And I forgive if I it's have It's gyrating the inside of my bowels here. Yes. According to the word of God. A whole like milk. Yes. I'm not the sick trying to get healed. I'm the healed and the devil's trying to give me the flu. That's what we should call it. It's the devil flu, right? No racist undertones that we can squabble out on Twitter. Squabble, 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 squabble. Son of a bitch! Learn to talk that we can squabble about on Twitter. Just call it the devil flu and everybody can get behind that, okay? It's the devil trying to give you the flu, but by his grace and his touching of that screen, you are healed. Or whatever else kind of thing he's trying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> healed and well? Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Rubbing hand sanitizer in my eyes right now after watching this. Great, now a bunch of sick people are going to break quarantine. 
I mean, probably not wrong, honestly. In fact, someone sent me this tweet today. Florida megachurch packed with worshipers during coronavirus pandemic. Florida, of course. Why is it always Florida, dude? The River Church in Tampa was packed to the gills with worshipers who clearly were looking for hope. Pastor Rodney Howard Brown, who presides over the megachurch and has been reportedly defiant over social distancing, has claimed he'll cure coronavirus just the way he did with Zika. I just don't know how people like this exist, but here we are. They even live streamed the entire three and a half hour service with some dope tunes by, might I add. <laughs> Coronavirus! A living hell! A living hell! That Corona! Coincidence that Florida is a hotspot for community spread? I'm just saying. So despite Kenny Copeland's efforts, it seems that the world continues to crumble all around us. Uh, but I hope that through it all, you're able to find moments of solace and have some laughs here and there. I know this stuff gives me a hoot, man. As, as, as ignorant and stupid as it is, it's just fun to laugh at, and I hope uh, I hope you had a couple chuckles here. Uh, do appreciate you guys for watching uh, and sticking around. I'm gonna try and do my best to get this uh, studio up and run into full capacity soon and uh, keep the content coming uh, amidst whatever's uh, you know going on out there. Appreciate you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, and if you could do me a favor and just hip thrust that motherfucking like button, I would appreciate it. I execute judgment upon you, Covidious 19. I execute judgment upon you, Satan. I command, I command you to leave this place, Satan. Leave this place. You are not my virus. You are not my virus. When the judgment of the snake comes down around your neck, you will be left as nothing but a paste in a dust on the floor of the garden. When the snake exacts his judgment upon you. Amen. Hallelujah.